Search crews are desperately trying to find survivors before their window runs out. Take a look at the picture here of Japanese self-defense forces. It was an officer who rescued this four-month-old baby girl three days after the earthquake hit in Ishinomaki, Japan. Help is now pouring in from around the world. And Margaret Aguirre is the D director of global communications for the International Medical Corps and joins us by Skype. Uh, you have a team right now on the ground in Tokyo. How big is it? What's their priority? Uh, we have a group of doctors and logisticians. It's, it's a small group, um, about four people who are in Japan now. They're actually in Tokyo coordinating with local authorities, um, our partners on the ground, health officials who, you know, can basically help us help them to assess what the needs are and determine how we can help support them. I mean, as we all know, Japan has a really strong uh, emergency management uh, capacity, and so we will really want to try to fill gaps, identify where the needs are, and then be able to support. And, and at this point, um, for instance, the doctors who are out, what kinds of medical issues would they be seeing most? Uh, well, I think, you know, there are obviously the basic medical necessities that have to be addressed. Uh, people need food, they need clean water, they need blankets. There's a concern about exposure. It gets very cold in these areas at night. And so the, the most, you know, basic supplies are needed. And, and Margaret, given how widespread the problems are, how, how does, I mean, you have logisticians, as you said, who are going in there and they're trying to figure out the logistics of moving all these supplies around and helping the the Minister of Health that. I, I mean, how does that get coordinated with all the supplies that are coming in from countries around the world and then distributed to these tiny little villages? Right. Well, that's why what we're trying to do is be real strategic before we start going in. We really want to coordinate with local officials so that we're not just go, going in on our own and providing assistance where maybe it's not needed and another area is not getting reached at all. Oh. So real, we're really working on identifying those communities that perhaps have not been reached and need the assistance and are most vulnerable. Margaret Aguirre, thank you so much. Good luck with the task ahead.